adding the call and SMS logs is as simple as adding a couple fields to the Podio setup for smartphone. Now we have to add two fields into the communication app to make this work. The first field is a created on field, which is a calculation that we'll just put in the date that the record was created on. So we'll come over here to Podio, go to the smartphone communications app. It'll probably be called communications in yours. I have happen to have a communications app already, so I changed the name of it. Hit the wrench, modify template, scroll down to the bottom. I just put these at the bottom. You can place them wherever you like. And we'll set one calculation field. Drag that in. Call it created on. And now the calculation is as simple as you can get. And just hit the field token at symbol and it'll drop down everything you need and we can just type in created and then select created on and then now this is the calculations for this field the next field we need to create is the Earl field now in the tutorial it's telling you to use Globy flow to create this Earl field I that's just an excessive and we don't need to go out and create something in Globiflow just to create an URL when we can just use a calculation field in Podio. Now what we have to do is create a calculation field and then the calculate we'll change the name to URL. Now the calculation for this URL field you can find in the tutorial It'll be right here. Now this calculation is not what you're going to be using, but it's just an example of what you need. So we can do this in two ways, but I'll show you the easy way just to get this URL. So let's just copy this in there and paste just to give you the formatting of it. So what I like to do is, the simplest thing is to create an item in the communications app and then copy the URL from the address bar with a slight modification. Other way to do it is just to replace this your org with this part of the URL that you're seeing right now, which is the organization name and ID from Podio, your workspace, which is this part, it's the next area, mine's SI Lead Manager Test. Now, apps is fine. Now, the last part is your communication app name from smart, that smartphone created. Now mine is called Smartphone Communications. Yours might be something different. So you can just cut and paste these parts into this string. The other way, if you're not completely sure, is I like to come and click, you can right click Smart Communications, open a new tab. This will bring up your uh, communications app. Now let's add an item. Let me just add in one name here and save it. And now we have, you can see up here in the URL, the address bar, the full, the full address of an item. Now the, the, the unique part is this last digit right here, which is one. We don't need that, so we can just not copy that. If you copy it, it's okay. Just delete it when you get to the pasting it into the the calculation field. So we're going to copy that, come back to this tab, come in between the quotes, delete this, and now paste in the address that we just copied. So this is the full complete URL. And now the last part we have to do is just concatenate on a unique ID. Unique ID is this number right here. And it's unique to each item. So it, you may paste it in from the tutorial, but since it's a field token, you have to re-enter it in. You can just start typing, and then it'll show up down here in the drop-down. You select it, and now you're good. And you'll see this information here. This shows up as invalid 001s because I don't have any items in my app just yet. But this should be all good. And you click done. And 
now your communication app is set up so you can create the calculation fields in your contacts app and get something like this for a log. So let's do that now. So in this part of the tutorial we're going to add the SMS history first. So it's, we're going to go into the contacts app, add a calculation field, and then cut and paste this calculation. So while I'm here I'm just going to highlight the calculation Try that again. Copy. We'll go to Podio, my contacts app. Hit the wrench, modify template. Now I'll add this to the bottom, a calculation field. SMS log. Now this cal you can easily move this around once you've created it. I like to keep it at the bottom just so I know where it is. Now in the calculation field we'll just right click and paste in that code. Now it's a giant mess but there are four, five lines that we have to retype and then we should be good. So here all the field tokens we have to re-enter. So here we're going to do all of type. So you highlight it, delete, at, all. You might have to scroll down a little bit to see it. It's a big field of type. So click that. That line's good. Next one is all of created on. Now this is referencing the communications app value for created on and that calculation field that we just put into that app. So we all. When you do all of, it allows you to reference apps that are related to this app. So we have a communications app that has a relationship field that links the contacts app to that communications app. Now to reference anything in that communications app, we have to use the syntax of all of. Okay? So now this is all of created on. All right. Now in this text part, it's a little different in that we have to include the nulls, which means any blank values we have to include in here or else things won't line up correctly. So we have to highlight this, hit at all of text message. Now this is without the null. This is without the nulls, and this is with the nulls. We need this option right here. In the the tutorial, it tells you to use just text message, not with nulls. So then it doesn't work correctly. You need to choose the option that says with nulls. And now also for the calculation with the URL. So you say at all of URL with nulls. And finally, all of smartphone number. At all of smartphone number. Now after everything is set, you should have a preview that looks similar to this. If anything shows up in error, send me an email with what you have in your calculation field and I'll find it because it's very tough to uh, come through this text and pick out what's wrong. That's why I tell you to cut and paste it and not type it in yourself because then you'll make a mistake. So let's hit done. And we can look at, you can add a record to your contacts if you already have one. If you have one, just open it up and look at it. And at this point, you should see no SMS history, which is correct because we don't have any SMSs for anybody just yet. Now we have to go back in, which you can do modify template, and let's add the call log. 
and it's based it's the same exact process so we take a calculation field drag it in here relabel it to the call log go to the tutorial scroll down we'll highlight this text right here copy go to podio paste that in now we have to re-enter in the field tokens so we can say at all of type and again if you can't see the drop down that appears over here you have to scroll down a little bit because it appears at the bottom at all of created on at all of created on here we have at all of call owner with nulls at all of call owner with nulls next is at all of earl with nulls at all of earl with nulls Second to last one is at all of call notes with nulls. At all of call notes with nulls. And finally, at all of smartphone number. At all of smartphone number. All right, there you go. Now, one thing just to make sure when you check, when you retyping these in is make sure there's a semicolon at the end of these because you might have a tendency to delete that when you're deleting my field marker tokens and retyping them okay so now we've got the preview it's looking pretty good click on done now if we check we have sms log no sms history call log no call history and there you have it. That's how you add the call log and the SMS log. When you start sending and receiving messages and getting calls, you'll see this turn into something like this as you go. Do you have any questions? Do you have any problems? Like I said, send me an email with a copy of the script, and I'll take a look at it. You can also post a comment below with a copy of the script, and I'll also take a look at that as well. Thank you.